Hi guys, welcome back to the MVP Gaming channel. Today, we're going to be running you through some tips on how the pros are attacking buildings using utility to come out on top in tournaments. And as always guys, if you're enjoying the content, don't forget to hit that like button. And if you've got any suggestions of what you'd like to see in future videos, leave us a little comment underneath and we'll, uh, we'll see what we can do about that. So we're looking to land in a place that's got a lot of buildings, but we also want to have some enemies with us. So I feel for this, on this flight path, Dobro Mesto or Movarcha? Okay, let's go with Tika's suggestion. Let's go Dobro Mesto. Hopefully we've got some enemies with us. Looks like we do. A lot of them are going to Movarcha. We've got one squad with us. Nice, okay. So we're going to focus on using our utility so smoke grenades hand grenades things like that to basically give us the advantage going into the fight so pushing a building is never going to be easy so what we want to make sure is we've always got the advantage before we push into the building so either getting a knock with a grenade or giving us some extra cover with a smoke grenade anything that we can do to get the upper hand on the enemy is going to be a massive difference maker when it comes to the actual push. So guys, just find some guns, get yourself a vest and look for that utility if you can. And me are pushing me. Okay, so we can actually help Akashi here using our utility. Akashi, you can pull back to us, I'm going to smoke your path. Yeah. There's one just here, underneath us. And there's one actually on the right side as well, which could be a problem. So we, I'm going to pull back here into this. You can go on the left side. Luckily this guy can't shoot. Red so there's red. one just underneath us here. So if anyone can throw a smoke grenade, block his vision. Actually, no, no, it's in here, sorry. Watch out! In this vision here. So when we're looking like this, they're in yellow. We're going to look to try and take the angles. Enemies ahead! In yellow building, that's with us. One goes Watch on out. the left side, here. Enemies ahead! Okay, so we can leave that guy there. And then we can take angles. There should be one left somewhere. And this guy's probably There's one be. on me. Yeah. I knocked. Okay, he's dead. There's another team coming from west. So we're going to actually need to play a little bit defensive here. So let's go back into the arena where we landed. Find that utility. Watch out! Molotov. Yeah, they're coming from west. So just be a little bit careful. Okay, so we got the push. So we need to use that push. So we can use our utility. Go in with gun skill. So that's not how you use utility <laughs> unless you want to kill your friends. But if they hadn't have pushed so aggressively there, that would have actually landed right where the enemies were, you see. So getting that bit of entry damage would have actually been really good. Now we can just let Tika bleed out here. as his mistake for pushing up the stairs so rashly. I'm only joking, Tika. I'd never do that. Yeah, too. everybody was literally on fire. Yeah. So next time, just have a little bit of patience, and we can uh, get a little, a little, some some entry damage with our utility, and get the advantage over the enemy, and uh, makes it a lot easier for us when we push. Right, so let's just get some loot, and then we'll get in a car and we'll go. I saw a lot of enemies in Movatra, so we should go there fast. Right, so we quickly cleared up Dobromesta. Now we're gonna go over. We saw a lot of squads going towards Movatra, so we're going to go head down there, see if we can find anyone, and hopefully give you guys some better demonstrations of how we're going to get that initial knock using utilities, or get some damage in, soften up the enemies, and it's going to make it a lot less risky to push in with our guns. I mean, sometimes, don't get me wrong, like then, you can easily push in and just kill them with guns, but it's always going to be a risk, especially in third person. Yeah, here we go, we've got enemies. So let's get straight into this. Location. We can stop here. And if we've got any smoke grenades, we can use it to block their vision. A lot of times I see people using smoke grenades in a passive, defensive way. 
but we can use it to block their vision in an aggressive way. Is there any on the left side? I don't see any on the left side. Watch no. out! There's one just Watch here. Out. On that thingy. A headshot and body shot. He's got a heal up. We can push up a little bit. So now we're going to use our utility. We can aim it with the eyeball. Oh, he's actually run. He's run back to the buildings on the right. So we can... Yeah, there is two. If we Molotov these windows, then he's not going to be able to push up to us as we come into the house. He's got no vision on us. So we can easily get in. One more push from that side, Kashi. One more on that side, Kashi. Let's let's push out northwest on this guy. Okay, and there we go. So you see what we did there, guys. Because we were throwing Molotovs in the windows, we threw some smoke grenades. The enemy kind of they panicked. They lost their discipline and they jumped out of the windows. They didn't really know what to do because they couldn't shoot us from there. And because of that. It was pretty easy fight for us. We can just take them out one by one by one. And that is the benefits of using utility to push a building. Let's get in our car. And I reckon... So we've got a drop here, so we might find some enemies here. We're going to actually split into two cars. So Akashi, take this car. Nice one. And basically, when we're pushing a building now, instead of all being in one car, effectively being an easy target for enemies, it's going to make it a lot harder for them to actually knock one of us because they might do a little damage a little bit of damage on me and then a little bit of damage on on them but they're not going to do 100% of the damage all onto one person so putting up two different targets especially when you're pushing against the full squad is going to kind of deflect a lot of the damage so it's not all going onto one car and because of that you won't get blown up and you can actually reach into the buildings so we're just going to search now See if we can find any enemies who are holding any compounds. Hopefully we can, and we can demonstrate another use of utility for the push. Oh, they're here! Yeah, they're here with me. Yeah, I'm right. Enemies ahead. Enemies on enemies on them. Oh, it's just a bot. It's just two bots. No, they're here. They're here. Enemies ahead. This one. Now, as you can see guys, that was a really easy fight for us and the reason is because we were split up. So the only there's not only one benefit of taking more than one car, another one is when you actually get to the fight, you can take so many different angles on the enemies that it makes it impossible for them because they're trying to fight four different angles at the same time. So it's impossible for them to find cover from your team. So, because we've got three cars there, Tika is able to go off on his own and find a whole different angle where the enemies aren't in cover. And because of that, he's able to clean up really nicely. So let's keep on the move, guys, hopefully. We've still got 16 enemies left, mate. Hopefully we can find a couple more. So I reckon if we head towards Diner Park, Tika, maybe you can go and have a little scout. Might find some. Cassie, I'm gonna need a knock, I think. Okay, so what we're going to do now, another tactic for pushing, is Tika's going to stay back as we push. And um, because we're pushing, the enemy is going to leave his cover to try and shoot us. And then Tika is going to take him out as we push. So I've run out of gas, but I'm going to go in on foot. Is he on green here? Okay, so Tika, you cover from back. Akashi, push. And we can use grenades to soften him up. Probably taking some damage, so now he's taking damage. We can all push him yeah, together. Was behind on the south. There he is. Yeah. Enemies on southwest, we're shooting. Enemies Enemy ahead. And did you notice as well, guys? Because we all pushed in together, he shot Akashi a little bit, he shot me a little bit, and because we were all together, no one got knocked, and we're easily going to clean up that kill. Watch out! Okay, so if you two want to push in the car, I can cover from back. Or we can all go on foot if we've got yeah, enough. Yeah, yeah, so we've got some smokes. So we're going to use our smokes to try and block their vision. How far away are they? 
Uh, Watch out! Like Enemies ahead! 50 meters. Yeah, yeah, I see. Yeah, right on left. That's all right. So we can smoke it. So we've got some cover since we're going in the open now, and we know his friends are probably going to be somewhere close. And we can just use a ridge line like this without actually going in the open and try and get his friends to show us where they are. Okay, maybe his friends aren't so close, so we can take the loot, but we've got the cover of the smoke as well. Okay, Danny, let's when go it's a good thing. moment, may, when it's a good moment, maybe it would be good to clarify the difference in push, where with cars you took them from different angles, and in the last push you were together. When people should use the one that's together and when separate. So we've just gone through a couple of different kinds of pushes there. Obviously, we had the ones where we were all split up in cars, and then um, we had the one there where we were all pushing in together. Um, really the main difference between when you want to use these is it depends on your enemy's position so if your enemy is is in a building or in a compound where they're pretty safe it's hard to really shoot them from a lot of different angles then it's going to be best let's go with me Tika, push the Tika enemies ahead ok there we go so now when you revive in your teammate because we don't know who's watching us always throw smokes about Make sure there's a lot of cover. That smokes. <laughs> no, that's alright. It's a good smoke, kind of. I'm covering. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, so as I was saying, guys, there's a couple of different kinds of pushes. So the one where you're all split up in a car, that's really good if the enemy is out in the open, if they're not in a compound, um, and you're going to be able to take them from all different angles where they've got no cover from. But if the enemy is in a compound like this, or there's a lot of them all together, then the best option is going to be going as a full unit and pushing all together. Um, because it's risky. I mean, no matter how good you are, if you're going into a one-on-one -on -one fight, it's always going to be risky. Maybe the guy's got a grozer or he headshots you, anything like that. So it's always good to have someone following you in. Um, he's going to be able to save you if something like that does happen. So that's really going to be the different situations. If someone's in a compound, you need to go all together. And if they're, if they're more in the open, then you can spread out and take angles. It's a lot better. So now we can just look to finish up this game. Just find the last few people alive. There's only six left. We can split up for this. And when we find them, we'll call them out. And we'll take them out as a team. They haven't got many places to hide to be honest so it shouldn't really take us that long to find them okay so he's in the open so see now because he's in the open I can take a different angle and he'd have no cover I know he's already dead but if he didn't get knocked there and me he and me again it's the last one he's got no cover from me okay he put a grenade <laughs> <laughs> I told you <laughs> So now we've just got three enemies left. Try and find these quickly. Hopefully, they're hiding inside the compound. And we can give you one last demonstration on how to use utility. Let's have a little look. Well, I don't think they'll be here because we just wiped the squad. So they don't look to be on this side of the map. So I'm guessing they're going to be on the south side. They're probably pissing in their pants because they don't show themselves. Oh, well, yeah, exactly. Oh, on me, on me. They're snaking, yeah? So they're in the open. Solo. So, solo. So, Akashi can hold that angle and kind of cause a distraction, and me and Tika can flank round okay. and take all different angles on the enemy. But there's not much point to do that since he's already killed them. The last one is on me. And, uh, and the last one is dead. There we go. So, there you have it, guys. There were some pro tips on how the pro players are pushing taking out their enemies in tournaments and taking that chicken dinner. As always, thanks for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video and you found it valuable, don't forget to hit that like button and smash the subscribe button and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.